Good afternoon misfits and dreamers it's time for another cooking video and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cheap easy and I do mean easy version of chicken cordon bleu so come on we get started I'll show you your ingredients and what you need to do all right this is easy real easy there's only like four ingredients so basically what you're going to need is boneless chicken breast Swiss cheese ham, a box of shake and bake, some garlic butter, and a can of coke. Oh wait, nope, that's optional. So come on, I'll show you how to do this. Alright, so what we're going to do is chicken breasts. We're going to butterfly these. We're going to flatten them out. We're going to put cheese and ham in these, roll them. We're going to shake and bake, but the key is there is to melt the garlic butter, put it over top so the shake and bake stays on the chicken. <coughs> and oh yeah, I almost forgot, you need one of these, a Thor hammer. Alright, so as you can see, we're flattened out. About a half inch, a little less, a little more, depending on how big your breasts are. So what we're going to do is add ham, add cheese, and then we'll roll them and pin them. All right, ham layer, cheese layer. Now guys, you can add more cheese if you would choose to, I don't. Um, I found the more cheese you add, the more it comes out the side, unless it's really tucked tight. So, this is imported Swiss. All right, you roll them, you pin them underside, and that's what it should look like once they're all rolled up. So once I get a few more, I'll show you how to bread these. And I should tell you, 350 degrees, just like you would normally cook chicken breasts until they're done. All right, our oven is preheating to 350. We put a piece of aluminum foil right in. Guys, I want to know, it kind of interests me, do you put, shiny, when you put aluminum foil, on anything or in anything do you put it shiny side up or shiny side down let me know in the comments in the meantime in the pan 350 I'll show you how to bread these and then I'll show you how to put them in the pan and then we will cook them and I'll show you what it looks like when they're done all right what we did we melted some garlic butter and we now put it on top of these and we rub them in and then I'll show you how to do the shake and bake. We'll put them in the pan and we'll go from there. All right, as you see, I'm using a Ziploc bag because those little tinkle sprinkle bags they give you with, with this you ain't going to fit th that kind of breast in these bags. So what we're going to do is put one in at a time, shake it, take them out and put them on our aluminum foil. All right, there they are shake and bake. So all like I said, I'll do two more and I'll put them in the pan. Put them in the oven. We will bake them at 350 degrees, about a half hour maybe, a little longer, a little less depending. I'm not sure because these are thicker breast. Um, pull them out. We'll uh, take the pins out. We'll show you how to cut them and I'll show you what we're serving them with. Alright guys, there you go. There is the stuffed chicken breast with ham and Swiss cheese. So now we're going to put these in the oven. We're going to let them roast. We'll take them out, let them rest. Pull the pins out. We will serve them with mashed potatoes and vegetables. And I'll show you what that looks like the whole plate when it's done. All right, guys. That is your chicken cordon bleu. There is your mashed potatoes and gravy. Your stuffed chicken breast with ham and Swiss cheese. So if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the notification button, leave a comment, leave a like, and we will see you in the next cooking vlog. Have a great day, guys.